Now is a historical moment, a time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. A golden opportunity to seize something good from this crisis. Its unprecedented shockwaves may well make people more receptive to big visions of change. A global crisis like pandemics and climate change know no borders and highlight just how interdependent we are as one people sharing one planet. We have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. Right, good day my friends. How's everything going in YouTube land with you guys? It's a little bit rainy and foggy. And that is, uh, hey, normal winter weather here in Van City, Vancouver. Ah, I tried cleaning off my screen and of course it shuts off. Anyhow, so my last video, I was very unsure if I should post it or not. Because, again, as I've said before, I don't want to continue being negative. And I felt it was negative, so I, I, it was a battle in myself whether to put it up. And I think I put it up because I wasn't pleased that Van City Van Life would say, you know what, I don't want to answer your comments and I don't want to read your comments. I think I took offense to it because of you guys and I'm thinking of you guys it's like what the I, I felt it was a put down to you guys and that's why I defended it in that last video so I was thinking of you that's all there is to it um, today I'm gonna talk about what appeared in a speech done by our Prime Minister leader of Canada on the Great Reset and by a recent post also done by the Royal Monarchy in Britain, and they also talk about a great reset. The last six months have laid bare fundamental gaps and inequities within our societies and between them. As with climate change, those who have the least are impacted the most. That's why last spring, Canada worked with Prime Minister Andrew Holness and Secretary General Antonio Guterres to convene a high-level meeting to discuss how leaders around the world could work together to close these gaps and build a better, more equitable system that works for everyone. In May, we agreed to look at six urgent areas of action to mobilize financing for the response and the recovery. Over the course of the summer, our six working groups produced over 250 policy options. On September 8th, finance ministers gathered to discuss these options and their recommendations for the short, medium, and long term. The most promising ideas will be taken up within existing IMF and World Bank processes, as well as at the G7 and G20 leaders' summits later in the fall. Then, in December, we're going to have the opportunity to meet again to discuss the progress we've made. Because we understand that right now we have to fix urgent problems, but in the long run, we also have to fix the system so that it works for everyone. Well, we need to work together. Canada believes that a strong, coordinated response across the world and across sectors is essential. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges. Like so I didn't get to read or study much on this, so... I'm questioning it. Uh, yeah, really questioning that. But you know what? Let's go back first to my negativity. I got to get out of that funk. And I think the pro the reason why I'm in this negative rut lately and focusing on negative things is I'm watching too much freaking uh, media. And I got to get away from that. All the... Uh, and coronavirus is doing it, it's putting stress on people, negativity, so that, and Facebook posts that are talking about it. Oh, see, you're supposed to wear a face mask. I, I don't walk around everywhere with a face mask, for crying out loud. See, that's causing stress right there. You must do this, must do that. You can't be near somebody, you can't be in a group more than five people, two people, you must wear a mask, you can't wear a mask. It's just getting to me. 
So I gotta get away from that and start reading positive books and get out of media crap that's going on. And I'm starting to realize that now. And I hear it at work too, the negativity and the negative, all the negativity that I've complained about on this video channel about my work. So uh, I gotta go back and focus on myself and my meditations in Buddhism and not that I've lost that, but you know. So anyhow, I notice it, and I notice it amongst a lot of other people out there. So that's why I'm bringing it up. Even in my comment sections, I see it a little bit here and there. We seem to be not united anymore. There's a divisity, or whatever, you know, dividedness about a lot of people. And we have to get away from that really quick, because things are going to really go downhill in the world. So anyhow, um, finish up. I'll come back. Okay, my friends, I wanted to come on and talk about this great reset that the Prince of Britain is talking about and our Canadian leader, our Prime Minister Trudeau is talking about. And the more I look into this, the scarier, the scareder I get. Uh, yeah, this freaks me out a little bit, actually. And I've got to study into it a little bit more. And from what I study from financial experts, real estate experts, and people who are a lot smarter than me, especially when I'm freaking tired and need sleep. Look at this. Christmas tree's up already. Holy shoot. It's still mid-November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, uh, I need to look into it more before I really comment on this. But it's a scary proposition because it's a complete reset of the monetary funds going from cashless to digital society. That's a part of this reset they talk about. Only a part. Uh, are they cancelling out debts because of the housing crises and high cost of housing and everything else that's going on? Is it a reset? because of coronavirus and everything else, I don't know. So what I do know is a part of this digital money system would be uh, that the central banks have all control over monies. Um, when it's deposited into your account, they look after it. Every transaction will be monitored. So for instance, if you were to go buy a gun, you couldn't do it because they would recognize that you're buying a gun and it would get declined. The central bank would have any reason to take out money out of your account, gone. So central bank, even more such more opportunity for them. And say for instance, if they do like China and put cameras up everywhere, which they're doing, and, and said, you know what, your social score is bad and you were caught not wearing a mask in this building, so hey, Ching, we just erased ten thousand dollars from your account because you didn't behave proper. So anyhow, those are some of the things I'm really beginning to question now. And it's not no woo-woo conspiracy theory. Even our prime minister talks about it, as you've seen in the clip. Global reset. So what is this global reset? I'm really questioning now and everything. So. I'm going to read up more and I, you know what, I'll link two videos. Watch this video and it tells you from this financial guy what you could see coming and I got another, maybe a link, I'm not, I'm not sure if I can find it, I'll link the second one up. Um, a little bit longer videos but you know what, well worth informing yourselves what is actually happening right now and it, this test is started in China. They're already throwing it out there, this central bank reset. So anyhow, time to go stop yapping Chuck. You need sleep, you work all night, you're delirious because you're talking controversy. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyhow, thanks for watching. Cheers, stay awesome, and I'll be back. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just editing the next video you're going to see and I'm going to throw two clips right now and 
come back next time and we'll talk more about it. So, cheers again. Or is the washroom that they're talking about down here in the bush? <laughs> this guy here could be in for a bit of a predicament. It's